Now, let's talk about another method of analyzing trusses, okay? And we call that method the method of sections. Okay, these are the steps para magawa natin yung tinatawag na method of sections. First, we determine the support reactions, of course, if you can. And sometimes, no, sa method na to, sa method of sections, yung pagkuha ng support reactions is not needed. Sometimes. Okay, mamaya, magbibigay ako example kung, kung paano yon. Step 2 is to cut the truss. Ibig sabihin is to pass, it's actually to pass a cutting line on members of interest. So, ginagawa yung method of sections kapag hindi mo gusto or hindi ka interesado na kunin lahat ng member forces, you are interested in some parts of the truss. And this is a step that requires a lot of practice. It requires what we call intuition. And intuition means yung feeling mo na kung saan ka dapat magkakat ng truss. Nagawa mo lang yan through practice. Okay lang, mag-practice ka naman practice para ma-feel mo na no? kung saan mo dapat ikakat yung truss. Now, dahil kinat mo yung truss, let's say kinat mo yung truss, di ba? Ito yung truss mo. Let's say kinat mo siya dito, pa ganun. So, meron ka ng part na to at saka meron ka ng part na to. Dalawa na yung parts nung truss mo. So, you need to do the pre-body diagram of the parts. Kasi nga, yung truss mo as parts dahil kinat mo siya. Galing dito sa step na to. Sa second step. So, pre-body diagram of each part. Na fourth step is to pick one of those parts and apply the equilibrium equations for one of the parts. Apply the equilibrium equations from one of the parts. Equilibrium equations, ibig sabihin, summation of forces equals zero at saka summation of moments at any point equals zero. Usually, Itong summation of moments ang mas nakikitang ginagamit when, the, when using the method of sections. Let's have an example. This is our first example for this lesson. Solve for the forces on members DF. So, ito yung trust natin. DF, DG, at saka EG. DF, DG, and EG. Kung makapansin mo dito sa tanong na to, I am not uh, interested kay FH. Hindi ko rin hinahanap si AB. So, ang hinahanap ko is members, DF, DG, at saka EG. etong tatlong to. No? These are the members of interest. So, bagay na bagay gamitin dito yung uh, tinatawag na method of sections. And by the way, uh, may kita mo, the structure is symmetrical. Okay? So, symmetrical. But, the loadings are not. Okay? So, although it is a symmetrical structure, the loadings are not symmetrical, 40 to, tas 60 sa kabila. So, yung AB dito, hindi magiging equal kay FH. Magiging magkaiba sila. So, anyway, uh, ang members of interest is itong tatlong to. So, the first step is to okay, solve the support reactions if you can. So, let us try to solve for the support reactions. Of course, if you sum up forces x equals 0, let's take any direction as positive sa x. So, let's say leftward is positive. So, isa lang yung force pa x, hx lang. That implies na hx is equal to 0. Of course, siya lang yung horizontal force dito sa pre-body diagram ng buong truss. So, ito yung hinge support, ito yung roller support. Okay, so this is the pre-body diagram of the whole truss. Now, if we sum up moments naman at point A equals 0 for equilibrium condition, ito makukuha natin. So, yung 40 kN, we have negative 40 times 4. So, negative dahil Iikutan nyo yung point A ng, okay, nakaturo siya pa ba? Iikutan nyo yung point A ng clockwise, counter positive yung sinet kong direction. And we have 100 times 8. Itong 100, the moment arm is from A sa line of action ng 100 is 8. Again, counterclockwise, so negative. 
And then we have yung 60 times 12. Ito yun, yung 60 kilonewton force. The moment arm is from the line of action niya hanggang kay A, the perpendicular distance is 12. Kasi tatlong 4 yan. So 12. And again, negative pa rin since iikutan niya yung point A ko in a, uh, in a clockwise fashion. And lastly, we have plus HY times 16. So, yung HY moment arm is 16. Pataas siya. So, iikutan niya yung A in a counterclockwise fashion. So, pag sinam up mo lahat yan, equal 0. HY is now equal to 105 kilonewtons and positive. So, tama yung direction natin na upward. And pag nag-summation naman ako ng forces y equal 0, of course, we have ay minus yung load na 40, minus yung load na 100, minus yung load na 60, plus hy equal 0. And hy is already given as 105. So therefore, ay can be calculated as equal to 95 kilonewtons. Again, positive na kuha natin, so tama yung direction na Upward. So, na-solve na natin yung support reactions. So, drawing natin ulit yung truss. So, ito na yung truss natin with the support reactions indicated dito. Now, ang points of interest is DF, DG, at saka DE. Let's check. Okay, DF, DG, at saka EG or uh, EG pala, no? So, mali yung sabi ko kanina. EG. EG should be this member. EG. Hindi pala DE. But rather, it should be EG. Okay. Anyway, etong tatlong to ang uh, members of interest natin. So, ang gagawin ko is I will cut through those members. Anong ibig sabihin cut through those members? Dito, hahatiin ko siya yung trust natin. So, ibig sabihin, may expose yung forces at members DF, DG, at saka EG. Parang ganito. So, meron na tayong left at saka right part nung truss. Dahil hinati ko siya sa gitna dito doon sa tatlong members na yon So, this is the pre-body diagram of the left and right part of the truss after doing uh, yung cutting line natin. Kaya ito tinawag na method of section kasi gumawa ako ng section cut no doon sa truss gumawa ko ng sectional cut doon sa truss so meron na akong uh, dalawang parts yung left and right next step is to pick one of those pre-body diagrams in this example ang kinuha ko is the right part no etong etong part na to etong pre-body diagram na to yan ang kunin natin so, we have here the pre-body diagram with, of course, yung mga angles, yung uh, triangle niya, yung slope triangle, and yung points, pinakita ko na dito. Okay. Now, continuing, i-apply lang natin yung equilibrium equations natin. I can get the summation of moments at point G and equate it to zero. Let's take counterclockwise as positive. So, point G ay nasaan? Dito. So, mapansin mo, kaya ako dito nag-moment kasi yung dalawang unknown force ko parehas nandoon yung line of action nila kay point G. At dahil parehas uh, nagko-coincide yung line action nila kay point G, pag nag-sum up ako ng moment dyan, magiging zero yung moment ng dalawang to. So, ibig sabihin, makukuha ko kaagad si FDF. Siya lang yung merong moment arm kay point G dito sa tatlong unknowns natin. So, we write that sum up moments at point G, we have FDF okay, FDF times the moment arm is ito 3 meters plus 105 kilonewtons yung reaction force natin at ang moment arm niya kay point G is 4 meters equals 0 mapansin mo rin yung 60 kilonewton load natin, wala rin siyang moment kay point G kasi directly coin Sedent yung line of action niya kay point G. Okay. So, from here, we can solve for FDF which is equal to negative 140 kilonewtons or, of course, dahil negative yan and the assumption is tension lahat, so tension positive, 
So, this means this is actually 100 kilonewtons in compression. So, ito yung sagot natin for FDF. Nakuha na natin directly yung FDF. Repeating the same thing for point D naman, ito yung point T. Again, bakit point D yung kinuha ko? Kasi yung dalawang forces natin, FDG at saka FDF, coincident sila kay point D. So, pag dito ako nag-moment, sino lang ang hindi uh, coincident yung line of action kay point D? That is FEG. Summing up for uh, moments at point D equals 0, of course, makuha ko is 105. Ito. Ang moment arm ko ay 8. Mula dito hanggang kay point D doon, it's 8. Minus 60 times 4. So, yung 60 kilonewton force. Of course, ang moment arm ay 4 and clockwise rotation siya. Kaya negative. Minus FEG times 3 is equal to 0. And we can solve for FEG, which is equal to 200 kilonewtons positive. So, this is in tension. And finally, we can sum up uh, forces. No? Pwedeng mag-summation forces y lang tayo. Summation forces y equal 0. To get the following, so we have FDG times 3 over 5. So, FDG and ang kanyang vertical component is 3 over 5, opposite over hypotenuse, minus 60 kilonewtons, yung load natin, plus 105, yung support reaction equal 0. And so, we can get FDG is equal to negative 75 kilonewtons. And of course, this means this is 75 kilonewtons in compression. So, using the method of uh, sections, nakuha natin yung tatlong members, forces natin without resulting, without computing any other member. Mapansin nyo, di ba sa method of joints natin, magsimula muna tayo dito hanggang makuha natin lahat bago tayo umabot doon sa gitna ng truss. So, sa method of uh, sections, you can solve directly for for the unknown forces as long as alam mo kung saan magkakat. Okay, this is another example para sa method of uh, sections. Some kind of cantilevered truss. Nandito yung loadings niya. And uh, then yung mga sizes. We are to find the force in member DC. So, saan ang DC? So, ito yung point D or joint D at ito yung joint C. So, this is member DC. Dito lang. Hindi ko na isosolve yung support reactions. Remember, uh, sa method of sections, pwedeng hindi mo isolve yung, yung support reaction. So, we have here the support reactions, uh, the supports. Pwedeng hindi ko isolve yun. Papakita ko dito uh, kung bakit. No? So, since DC yung member of interest natin, what I can do is cut the truss pag ganito. And pag kinuha natin yung pre-body diagram nung, nung left, part nung truss, yung cantilever part niya, ito yung makukuha nating pre-body diagram. And of course, sinolve ko na yung mga distances. So, we have here yung top. no That should be 3 square root of 3 over 4. And again, kaya hindi ko na sinolve yung reactions kasi by doing this cut dito and taking the left part, I am not involving sa pre-body diagram yung reaction forces. Wala kami kita reaction forces dito. Ang may kita mo lang are the member forces exposed dahil doon sa section cuts natin. So, we have members FBD, FDC, at saka FCE. Now, ang hinahanap lang is FDC. Ito lang. So, paano tayo gagawa ng equation para makuha yun? Uh, we can do equations uh, summation of forces X, summation of forces Y. Pero sa nakikita ko dito, ang the best equation para mabilis makuha yan is to sum up the moments at point A. Kasi kapag nag-sum up ka ng moment kay point A, makita mo si FBD is coincident kay point A, yung line of action, at sa kay FCE rin, yung line of action niya na dumadaan kay Point A. Ibig sabihin, wala silang moment, hindi sila involved sa summation of moments kay point A. So, summing up moments at point A and equating it to 0 dahil equilibrium 
isa lang yung force na unknown na merong contribution doon, which is yung FDC. So, we have FDC. Okay, sign up 60 degrees. This is the Y component ng FDC. So, Y component niya, pag anon. And the moment arm is given here as square root of 3 meters. So, siya lang yung unknown force na involved sa moment at A. And of course, apply natin yung moment ng 20 kN load at 3 square root of 3 over 4 equal to 0. So, directly, masolve na natin yung FDC which is equal to 10 square root of 3 or 17.32 kN. And again, this is in tension dahil positive siya. So, FDC is 17.32. So, ganun gawin, gamitin yung method of sections and it takes practice para malaman kung saan ka pwedeng mag-cut. Okay, ang tip ko dito kung saan pwedeng mag-cut, cutting line mo mas cut around 3 uh, not members, no? hindi members, but lines of actions ng forces natin. Around 3. No? So, kung wari dito, or less than or equal to 3. Kung wari dito, yung BD, DC, at saka CE, tatlong lines yung kinat ko. And yung isang example natin, yung una, again, tatlong lines yun yung kinat ko. This is the method of sections. Like me video kung ayos. Pag hindi, pag mo i-dislike, leave ka ng comment kung bakit, ha? Sige na, subscribe.